Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivor's Best with 278. Megalomania beats every stage in one video. Okay, for so for this episode of Megalomania beating every stage, instead of doing what I did for Ghost Lino, I'm instead going to tell a tale of a battleground I played once in World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, it's the most popular MMO in the world, MMORPG. And it's based on the Warcraft series of real-time strategy games and basically exploded in popularity once it became an MMO to the point there will never be another RTS in Warcraft again, which is a shame. Anyway, there are two factions in World of Warcraft that you can play as, the Alliance and the Horde. I am an Alliance player. Specifically for this story, I will be a Night Elf, which is sort of self-explanatory, and a Demon Hunter, which also sounds self-explanatory. The Demon Hunter has a tank spec called Vengeance. I was playing that. I was very durable, had a lot of self-sustain and leech. This is a story of me during the Legion time frame when Demon Hunters were released. This was sort of near the mid-ish end of the expansion. It was quite the time. For a couple years, the there are instance PvP battlegrounds in this game. And this one would be Alterac Valley. It was one of the first to release. You cannot just wander into this area on the map itself. It has to be specifically queued into. And that's it. The objective for this battleground is to eliminate either the enemy commander all the way up in their base. Or down below in their base. Or to run the other team out of their reinforcements by just killing enough of the other players. You can lower the tickets as well by destroying certain objectives on the map, in this case towers or bunkers, or destroying a captain in the midfield. So, for this one, we were in what's sort of more or less the beginning of the end of the Rush era for Alterac Valley. Uh, the spawn point for Alliance is all the way up in the north, the spawn point it, for the Horde is in the south, but on like the eastern side. For the longest time, the two groups basically just Tried to beeline straight for the enemy commander, blow up the bunkers, towers, kill the captain if possible. Much easier for the horde. The alliance captain was garbage. So they would run past each other, just, you know, try and get to kill the boss as soon as possible. Get it done before like 20 minutes. So I'm riding south. This is sort of around the time when the horde are figuring, wait, if we just defend the first tower, we'll win effortlessly and turn it into a big slog. Uh, so I just ignored it when I saw Horde there and just ran south, 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 straight into the base. No, no one in the way. I got up in the, their defensive towers, claimed them. You have to click on a flag. It'll eventually fill up a bar and it'll start the burn down process of the tower or the bunker in the north. So I did this for one of the towers, someone else did it for the other. And these towers are really close together. As a demon hunter, I have the ability to double jump and do a glide, which sort of gives me a third jump, plus some momentum killing. So I could basically just jump between the towers with no issue. Not No other class could do that, period. Not even if they really stuff up their movement speed. So I was sitting up there, waiting for things to happen. I saw on the map, eventually, the towers up north, the two up north. There are four towers on the map, four bunkers on the map. Were reclaimed by the Horde, and eventually the Horde had sent a group down south to reclaim it, and we had, like, less than half they are. But we fought. We fought, and it lasted long enough that we were able to take down the Western Tower and the Horde base. And I jumped over, I just leapt over to protect the East Tower, but eventually the Horde overpowered me. Everyone else died, so I just booked it. At that time frame, the Demon Hunter had incredible mobility. They had an ability that could basically leap them forward about 40 yards. They could use it twice, and then I had a, another ability that's only available in PvP, Demonic Trample. Allows you to just book it for like 100% speed faster than the mounts you could use in the battleground. So I go back up north to what's exactly the second tower in a row. This is called Tower Point for some weird reason. I go up there, help try to defend it. Fails, we get pushed back. I meander up around north and at some point I die. I only, It's been years literally since this happened. So I don't remember what killed me, but I do know I died. I respawn back up in the main group north. We lost control of both of our south bunkers as per usual. The Alliance bunkers are completely awful down south. The base bunkers are good, but the ones in the south are terrible. Stone Hearth, uh, easy one. It's the most worthless defensive fortification in the game. It is impossible to defend outside extreme circumstances. While the Horde's 
equivalent tower ice point no ice fall was actually really good because it covered the main approach alliance had to take Stone hearth you could completely ignore if you didn't want to deal with it and the next bunker is ice wing which is impossible to defend if you get pushed out of the stone hearth area and Around the map there are respawn points for the team, and you can take them over with the same thing. You click on a flag, it'll convert to your team. After enough time, it'll flip over and you start respawning there. Whereas the bunkers just burn down if you put enough time on. So anyway, I'm back up at the team. We've stabilized in like what's effectively a very long line between our defensive base, the flag, the graveyard flag that's right outside of it, and the stone hearth graveyard which the horde have taken over this area is a very very long corridor that's very simple to defend because a lot of people just sort of narrow eye onto it oh i've forgotten the term they get tunnel vision on it they get tunnel vision on the long path and they don't like sneak around it's because there's a lot of paths to actually sneak around to claim the base up north but they don't take it so i fight a little there and I eventually decide no this is dumb I'm a demon hunter I should not be fighting on the front lines at all so I look at the map and I see down south that a group of alliance have managed to take about put our uh the iceful tower back under siege so I decide to just go down that and this ends up being a very very weird trek south as for some reason, basically everything from the Ice Wing Bunker all the way down to the tower itself was one big long running fight between Scattered Alliance and Horde. And it was weird. I eventually make my way down there. And sometime during all of this, we had also destroyed the other tower on the Frostwolf base. I don't know how, but it was good. The Frostwolves are the Horde defenders in this area, or invaders really. But that's an upside's point. So I'm up here in. The ice fall tower. We got like a handful of guys up here, and the horde are eventually going to realize it, and they start streaming in one after another after another, and it just devolves into very close quarters combat. The top of the towers are incredibly small; they're enclosed and small. So certain areas, certain area abilities, they really hit a lot of targets up here. But I defend it. You can't cap a flag if you're under attack. It takes like five seconds or whatever. If you get hit, you get knocked out of it. And if there's one thing a demon hunter is good at, it's doing a lot of fast AOE damage. So eventually the horde just keep piling in, piling in. They kill my allies or knock them out of the tower. There's abilities to just knock dudes out. And I'm the only one left. And I just fight and I fight and I fight. And they keep trying to stun me or they sleep me or fear me or all these loss of control effects. But uh, World of Warcraft has diminishing returns on those, so you can't get stunned too many times in the row to be permanently stun locked. Eventually, you just become outright immune to it in enough time. And they just kept pouring in more after more after more. Well, as I alluded to at the beginning, Vengeance Demon Hunter has lots of self sustain. Okay, damage at the time, and I had put on some other stuff that really boosted my survivability. And them all coming in like this. Also ended up being a negative because I also had the ability to leech. In fact, them being so much was what contributed to me being so durable. I had the ability to leech life off of some of my damage, my fire damage, which Demon Hunter did, and a talent, which gave me an ability to apply a debuff on all my targets, which made anything, any damage instead of just fire damage, I did them start healing me up for 20% of my damage. So with all my AoEs, all my everything, I was just pumping out so much healing that they couldn't get through me. Even, I swear, almost over 20 Horde were in this little small enclosed space trying to stop me, trying to get this flag. And they came in fast and hard. It was for almost like three whole minutes that I was doing this all by myself, fighting out like double digit Horde guys. And I succeeded. I held it off till the tower burned. And it was critical because somewhere along the line, the other Horde Tower had burned too. And they were down to like only a handful of reinforcements at this point, like 20 or less. And we could just kill that along the map. I died shortly after. I'd popped every single cooldown I had, everything I had, every defensive, every offensive, my potions, my stimulants, everything I could to get it. 
and it burned, and I won, and I shouted from the top of my lungs in real life and in game for the Alliance. And that's the kind of thing you could just feel the horde deflating at that point. Most of them just stopped fighting back when I died and respawned all up in the base. They put up a pathetic defense and just got rolled. You could tell a lot of them were just typing and shouting each other on chat just because of how bad it was. It was, it was amazing because this was around the time, though. Like I said, the Alliance had been dominating the Alteric Valley battleground for years, but as soon as I was coming back into the game, nope, flipping around. Now the Horde were starting to get it because they just had to defend that tower and they would win. The Alliance would just suicide their entire group into that tower trying to claim it ineffectively because they would just, the Horde would just respawn a few feet away, come back in and grab it. Lions had to go a huge way to get to it, as they would never just learn to just go get the graveyard first, then get the tower. It was baffling. But shortly after that, we won, and it was absolutely amazing. Only one of the greatest PvP experiences of my life in the entirety of World of Warcraft. And I hope the story was entertaining for you, as it was for me when I played it. Phew, would you look at that. 888 done in total. And that leaves us with 1067 on the Beswick after Megalomania beat every stage by herself. I hope that wow tale was entertaining for you. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't. The support keeps me going, and thank you anyone who has. Either way, I hope you have a good day, and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Fifth wave begins tomorrow.